Hello guys, today we'll have a second free video from my newest course about Laravel 10 reservation project. And in this case, I will not shoot a particular video, particular lesson, but it will be kind of combination of a few lessons related to enums with roles for roles and permissions. So one feature of this reservation system is the roles of guide, company owner, and the customer. And why it may be beneficial to have enums for that on top of database relationship, let me show you. If you want the full course with all the 13 lessons, it's available for premium members of Laravel Daily Com. The link will be in the description below. So we start this with just installing Laravel Breeze, and I will quickly run through that because it's very beginning of Laravel 101, so I don't want to stop that. But one installing Breeze, by default, we have registration, which would fail because in the previous lesson of formalizing the database structure yesterday, we decided that we need to have role ID in users table, but the default registration doesn't fill in that role. So we need to seed the roles, for example, with role create name. So we add that to the database seeder, and here's where we add enum of role on top of the database. So this will be in the database, the roles, each of them will have their own ID of one, two, three, four. But the question is, how do you call those roles in various code parts of your application? When you want to check the role, when you want to get the role name somewhere or role ID, would you refer them as one, two, three, four, or by name, administrator, company owners, and others? So this is what Enum can help us to solve. So in PHP Storm, we may generate just a new PHP class, which would be enum. This is the template of PHP Storm, and we define them like this. And it may seem counterintuitive, and it was counterintuitive for me too for quite a lot of time. Why would you duplicate? This is all in the database. But let me show you multiple examples how we would use that enum. First example is right away. After registration, you need to assign role ID. Would you rather have number one here? So imagine a future developer coming here to read this and seeing number one instead. Or was it number two? I don't even remember myself now after a minute. So customer is actually a three. So there would be three here. It's not clear what is three actually. So that's the first example right away. And now if we move on to further lessons, that's why I told that it's not one free lesson video. It will be a combination. So for managing companies, for example, we can search for role colon colon. And in the middleware, we need to check if the role is administrator. So again, would you rather have a number one here or readable constant of administrator value? And this is not the only example in this file. In the factory, we can assign the default role of customer and have a separate state of admin with role administrator. So typically in projects, there will be multiple places where you would check, define, or use those values of role ID. Let's move on to other lessons. For example, managing users. Let's check for role here. And we have users, which has a typo, by the way, I should fix that after the lesson is shot. So again, we get the company owner users of the company. We filter by role and that role ID is a constant instead of just the number one, two or three. And another example is in the store method, which is similar to registration that you've seen before. So already how many it was five, six places. Moving on to another lesson manages users from company owner, not from admin. And here we have navigation example. So multiple navigation bars, menus, layouts for administrator or company owner. Again, instead of using one here or two here, of course, you could refactor it in a different way. This is only one way of doing that. But my point is to demonstrate in how many places would you actually use that enum in the policy. The next example. By the way, did you know that you can override all the policy methods like this? So if it's administrator, allow everything. Otherwise, we check if it's company owner everywhere and also additional conditions. Another example from another lesson, we want to create activity and assign a guide to that activity. And we get the guides from the database. Again, not hard coding the ID of the role guide, similar in edit form and also a different policy, which does pretty similar thing that we've seen. My point is that you can use enums on top of database IDs just to make your code readable wherever you need that IDs in the code. Another alternative approach 
It doesn't necessarily have to be enum. It could be a constant or a set of constants. For example, in your role model, maybe in your config, but I guess enums is just what adds the formal structure to that. And you can perform multiple operations with those enums. Just read the documentation of PHP for enum classes. It has more features. Would you agree with this approach? Or would you have done something differently? Let's discuss in the comments. And again, the link to the full course is in the description below. And see you guys in other videos.